Fuse Girls. This is Shayla today. Today we will get started with this black shimmer smoky eye and I am going to follow very simple routine as always. Simple is what I do and as simple as it is, it is easier for people to follow. So no extensive steps in this one. What we are going to do, take the Inglot liner which is 24-7. I have put in a bit of the fluid in it which is called Duraline. It is also by Inglot and in case your liners they get a bit um, you know uh, dry with time you can always put a few drops of the, drops of the Duraline and it does the job. So how we will get started, we will get started. I forgot one step let me do that first because it will help a lot of people I will take a medium brown shade tap off the excess and I will just run it in the crease it will help you to demark the crease and it will be easier for you to apply the black in the on the lid actually the most of the black will be on the lid and the rest will be only blended out this is how I do it okay and then on this one I have all the black black is a scary color when it is put on the lid because it requires precision I'm going a bit wish on here just higher on here and the rest goes a bit low not too high like this and then I will go under going under is the key now a small brush and I will just start blending out I am not taking it a very much it is in here but I am not going very into the eye here like uh, it will be very like a cat shape smaller and then it goes thicker, bigger, longer, everything here. Now, as you can see, this is what I did. While your product is still movable and it is still a bit wet, you will do this step, which is very important. Step of a smoky eye. See how it is intense, it is black, it is cat shaped. I will take this bigger brush and I will take the medium brown shade which I will run now intensively into the crease. This color will help you blend out really really well and if you go far this color will be there to save you under a little bit as well see now the next step i will take a bit more of this shade but this time I will take the liner on a pencil brush. The one that I am using is by Real Techniques. Their brushes are amazing and they are very budget friendly. So what I am doing, resting it like this. I am going into the upper water line. Along the lash line and the lower waterline a black smoky eye you cannot do without lining the upper and the lower waterline it waters my eyes a little bit but it will settle see what I am doing I am going on top of what I did on the other side I am doing the same on this side but I do feel a bit of the difference in here because I will just show you what I did if you rise the watering take a q-tip and just place it like this 
and if you mess up these q-tips are your best friend no one else can help you just cleaning up just making some space nice i have done my foundation so what i did was i applied a bit of the powder so if there is a fallout it will just dust off easily like this i'm doing right now now the next step lisa aldrich has these shadows and i got this one in black and it has this silver sheen in it which looks amazing and it makes a very nice shimmer smoky eye so i will go on all of my lid with that color so this is where the shimmer is actually coming from and i will take this brush and i will run it along the lash line slowly taking it out and about like a little bit getting out of the lines here i am getting into the crease and going over it but because this is a very small brush it has a lot of control you can actually see what you are doing so you don't ruin everything like you can see what i did and this is how the shimmer looks it looks pretty amazing very nice and now i will do bit more of this bit in which i put more color into my crease like this here once this is done move on to the next step the next step will be i will be taking a clean black plain eyeshadow any eyeshadow in black will do i will put this black in the outer corner here so this black will intensify the outer corners and you will have the shimmer in the two third and the last one third will have black matte shadow like this let me show you the closer pictures for now this is how this eye looks and this is what i have done so far and now we are soon going to get here i will take this again i will start lining the inner of the eye again and wherever you mess up your best friend is a q tip a q tip as you understand is a simple like a earbud kind of thing so this is done and to me this looks really really complete i will put on two coats of mascara and my eyelashes which are by charlotte tilbury and i am using glamour lashes so here i have put on my lashes and this is how the eyes look now i'll be taking some silver highlight in the inner corner without that any makeup of mine is incomplete i will put a little bit in here until like this and then a bit of it here if you don't do that your makeup looks incomplete and we want a complete nicely groomed look so this is how the makeup looks for now now we will come to the part where i put on um, 
few more touches to my makeup. I